Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on setting up the Rode NT-USB on a MacBook Pro using GarageBand. We've chosen GarageBand for this tutorial because it comes free when you own a Mac. We'll also do a separate tutorial for PC-based systems. Now when you first plug in your NT-USB on a Mac, luckily enough, it'll show up automatically and ask you if you want to use the Rode NT-USB as your input device. So here it's popped up, scanning the system for audio devices and has detected the Rode NT-USB. Would you like to use it? Yes. So once we've clicked yes, we can create a new audio track within GarageBand. So I'm going to select a real instrument track because what we're doing is recording directly from the microphone into the computer. Once I hit create, it'll boot up a new track here. So if you go onto the real instrument setting on the right hand side there, you'll automatically see at the bottom here that the input source is already selected for you and it's got Rode NT USB. If it isn't already selected, just click on this little menu and you'll be able to select whichever input you need to use. Just using Mono 1 or Mono 2 is fine. The Rode NT USB spits out a stereo signal just for some software that's not compatible with Mono signals. But this way, you're getting the exact same signal regardless of whether you choose Mono 1 or Mono 2. The NT USB with its zero latency direct monitoring means that you don't need to use the monitoring function within GarageBand. So I'm going to make sure that that's set to off so that we don't hear a doubling up of the signal when you're actually playing back live. Right below that, you've got the recording level. So if I speak directly into the microphone, I can set my level. And over on the left-hand side here, on the actual track itself, you'll notice that there's a level bouncing around here. So we want it to be sitting up around about this part here, closer to the top than the bottom, but you don't want to be peeking out and lighting up the last two little meters at the end there, because that means that you've got too much level. So I'm just going to adjust this slider until I've got a good level. So that's a bit too high, because the reds have lit up at the end. This is a nice level if I was doing a voice recording meaning that we're maximizing our bit depth on the actual input. Once I've got that set up, I can simply hit record and I'm basically ready to get started with my NT-USB recording. To hear back exactly what's happening while you're recording, you can plug in your headphones directly to the side of the NT-USB. Using the mix knob at the top of the microphone, mix towards the microphone symbol. So that's anti-clockwise and that'll give you the direct monitoring signal of the NT-USB. The control at the bottom will let you set your headphone level up or down depending on where you'd like it. All right guys, and that's how easy it is to get a great recording using your NT-USB on a Mac. If you're using a PC system or if you're using an iPad, check out one of our other tutorials on the channel.